Γεια σα, τι κάνετε? Have you ever heard about the verb υπάρχει in Greek? Keep watching! The verb υπάρχει means there is and it's used only for one thing. It's used only with nouns and usually in combination with the indefinite article ένα, μία, ένα, in nominative case. If you want to learn more about the indefinite article, click up here. The only thing that we have to pay attention is the gender of the noun because it's important for the gender of the article we have to use. For example, υπάρχει ένα παράθυρο στο δωμάτιο. The word παράθυρο is a neutral noun, so we have to use in front of it the article ένα. But there is also the verb υπάρχουν, which means there are, and it's used for more than one thing. It can be also combined with the numbers from to and on and with some pronouns and of course with the adjective πολύ, πολλές, πολλά, which is in plural and means many. For the declaration of the adjective, you can visit my blog greekwithalexa.wordpress.com and I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. Now let's see some examples. Υπάρχουν παράθυρα στο δωμάτιο. Because I'm using the verb υπάρχουν, I have to put the noun in plural only in nominative. So that's why there is the word παράθυρα. Or I can say, υπάρχουν δύο παράθυρα στο δωμάτιο. The numbers don't be declined in Greek, so we use them as we know. Or, υπάρχουν πολλά παράθυρα στο δωμάτιο. The adjective πολλά has to be in the same gender and number like the noun after it and of course in nominative case. So that was the lesson. If you like thumbs it up and subscribe in this channel I upload new lessons every week. And of course it would be my pleasure if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more Greek words and phrases. Thank you for watching. Yassas! <laughs>